Merry Christmas from Minneapolis. I hope everyone's having a great holiday season. Sorry, I'm not going to see most of you um, around the holidays here, but it was great to see many of you at Thanksgiving. Uh, there's this new song I've been working on for quite a while, and I'd hope to have it ready for Thanksgiving, but it's taking a little while longer than I had anticipated. So, um, but I think you're going to like it. It commemorates one of my favorite holiday memories from, from several years ago. Um, it's a bit of an homage to um, an incident that occurred at the dining table. And I borrow the lyrics and the haunting melodies from Gordon Lightfoot. Uh, so apologies to Mr. Lightfoot. This one's called The Wreck of Jones Old Folding Chair. Legend lives on from Pilsen on down of the big eater they call the farmer. The farmer, it said, must be massively fed when the feast of winter come calling. With a stomach of iron or 26,000 tons more than the farmer's belly weighed empty. Thought every bit of food was made for him to chew when the feast of winter are cooking. The farmer was the pride of Kewanee County, Southside, coming back from some barn in Wisconsin. As the big eaters go, he was bigger than most, with a chew and a palate well seasoned. Including some terms with an in-law named Germ as they got fully loaded before dinner. And later that day he finished the appetizer tray. Could it be that he might eat the children? When supper time came, the old cook came and said, Fellas, it's time to feed you. At 4 p.m. the farmer dug in, he said, mm, turkey, pass me more stuffing. As he shoveled food in, gravy dripped down his chin, and Michelle screamed out in terror. And later that night, when he sunk out of sight, came the wreck of Joan's old folding chair. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when a man turns a chair to scrap metal? The observers all say he had not sunk that day if he'd laid off Joan Famry's potatoes. His pants might have split up or needed to be resized. They may have broke deep into water. And all that remains Faces and the names of the family that witnessed that horror. The legend lives on from Pilsen on down of the big eater they call the farmer. The farmer, it said, never passes up bread when the feast of winter come calling. Merry Christmas, everyone.